Welcome to the Glam Life Podcast. I'm Victoria Rocca. You might know me as Victoria Glam if you follow me over on Instagram, which you totally should. And today I have a very important, very special guest uh, here with me today. I have the international leader of permanent makeup. I have a global superstar in any stage she walks out onto, an absolute product maven. You do not know the woman, but you absolutely know the pigments. It's Monica Avani. Hi, thank Monica. you so much, Victoria. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, I'm delighted to be here. It's so nice to meet you. Now, that's not an Irish accent. Where are you originally from? Because you live in Ireland, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I live in Ireland almost 25 years now. So, But I'm originally from Hungary. Oh, really? That's so yeah. interesting. I didn't know that um, before this call. That's so interesting. I always assumed that you had a really thick Irish accent. <laughs> No, 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 no. My God, Ivani is not an not an Irish name at all. More I thought it was really... a married name. Yeah, no, 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 no. I didn't take my husband's name. His name is unpronounceable. So no. <laughs> well, how did you wind up in Ireland then? Well, <clears throat> it's very it's like you guys moving from one state to another. So for us it's very easy to move from one country to another within Europe. It's like, you know, it's 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 that similar ID. So you can just, you know, go and move. So I lived in Germany, I lived in Holland, I lived in Spain before as well, and then I came to Ireland and then and then I was stuck. I I love Ireland because of the people. Now the weather here is shockingly bad. Um as I'm sure <laughs> you have heard. Um it just rains all the time, but uh, the people are just wonderful so yeah I'm just stuck because of the people because of my friends and because of the people that is around me is just wonderful you know yeah so 25 years you've been there did you, you start your permanent makeup career in Ireland yeah 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 well I did yeah 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 so I started permanent makeup 13 years ago and I went over to Germany to uh to to learn um and at that time nobody really was doing permanent makeup it was right. the really old-fashioned the old school you know um um uh, you know the block brows and the really heavy kind of permanent makeup um so um yeah so when i started nobody was doing the 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 now you know permanent makeup that we do now that are really natural and soft and and so light-handed so when i started um everybody thought i was i was absolutely completely mad completely <laughs> crazy because um because they said what what are you going to like it's not going to it's not going to never going to be popular here you know it's never gonna be nobody's gonna get an eyebrow tattoo and um and look at it now look at the industry now worldwide it's amazing now how popular it is now you know yeah no it's crazy how popular it is and it's even crazier how popular you are and you've managed to do that without really being out there giving interviews hosting thing you know you're not like your face isn't everywhere. So how did you wind up in this partnership with LI as a signature series? First of all, why LI? Well, I well, I tell you what, why LI, right? So ready for PMU coaching without the $10,000 price tag? Enter VI PMU group coaching. Check it out right here. Ready for PMU. When I did my original course uh, in Germany, I was obviously using a German um, uh, pigment. And my very first masterclass after that course was with Mary Richardson. Yes, love her. In America. And she used LI. And she gave us, I think, testers, or I can't remember how or what. But anyway, she introduced me and, and that group to LI. And that group, that was her first masterclass as well. And this was in Ireland. Mm -hmm. So this was 12 years ago. And, um, and, um, and, um, in the, Daria Chupris was there and um, uh, um uh, Debbie um there was a lot of big names that, that are in, big big in, in the industry now in that group but anyway she introduced us to LI pigments and so I started using LI and I I loved it I absolutely loved LI and then I made friends uh, really good friends with Will Anthony yes love I love uh, Will I'm looking at a picture uh, of him on my wall 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I love Will. Yeah, absolutely love, uh, adore Will. Uh, he's a he's a big teddy bear, you know. Anyway, I I took his class um a few years later, and we just uh, we just became really good friends. And then he introduced me to Taryn Darling, and then Taryn asked me if I would like a collab with Eli, and uh, I said okay, yeah, let's let's try it. And there you go. <laughs> Karen Darling is the nicest person I've met in the entire industry. And she is also Eli Pigment's drug pusher. <laughs> she, is <just laughs> she, she gets people addicted and then she's like, have some, have some. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. She convinced yeah. me to start my podcast. Oh, wow. No way. She demanded it, actually. I was on her podcast and she said, well, I want to come on yours. And I said, oh, I don't goodness. have guests on my podcast. And she said, I'll be the first one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah, no, she's absolutely brilliant. She's she's just a fantastic um, uh, person. Um, so, yeah, so that's how it began um, with Eli. And, yeah, and I'm absolutely delighted. Um, I never look back. I, I, I think Eli, the company itself is, is a fantastic company. It's an incredible company that um, I'm very proud to be a part of and and to be in business with, you know, because yeah. Eli is I, just the owner, darling, and just just everybody at Eli over the years that I had to obviously work with the chemists and and the staff there and whatever. And and yeah, I just I have to say, hands down, um, um, very very good, very nice company, very ethical, just just everything, you know. That's Very another question that I had for you is when, okay, so Taryn approached you and said, you should have one of these um, signature series. How involved is that? I think a lot of people think that um, different, different brands, not just LI, but any brand who has an artist series is kind of doing like white labeling, like TikTok celebrities do with skincare, you know, where they say, Hey, yeah. you have a big following. I want to capitalize on it. Let me slap your name on this product. What does that actually look like? Yeah, and it is like that for most um, permanent makeup pigments because um, I'm launching, uh, this is another thing, but I'm launching more pigments. Obviously, a lot of people have asked me. Uh the Glam Life Podcast is brought to you by BrowSister.com. Use code GLAMLIFE20 for 20% off your next order. Um, over the years to have more pigments, have different colors, have different sets, whatever. And, and that is happening. So because of that, I had to, not that I had to, I didn't have to, I could have gone with Eli, but I wanted to kind of look around, around the world for other manufacturers um, and just other products. I wanted to have a better understanding of um, how this is really working. Because obviously I, I, you know, once when they, back in the day, when they asked me to do the collab with Eli, I said, absolutely, I love Eli because I've been using them for many years. But I had no other experience with really any other pigment as such um, or a manufacturer as such. So I wanted to kind of look around. So I did um, look around. And so you are absolutely correct. That is how it is with most manufacturers that um, if a person, a, a permanent makeup artist or a, a celeb or somebody has their own pigment line, um, it's usually it just they just private label it. So they just change the label or the bottle uh, on it. But the, the colors itself is is ready. It's you know, you don't mix it. You don't do it, but not with a lie. And this is why I absolutely love working with a lie because um, because I was able to create completely my own shades. I love that. How did you decide on just four shades? That's a tall order to encompass everybody that I might want to work with. And everybody who says, oh, what uh, what inorganic should I use? Everyone says Monica, 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 Monica. So obviously they are able to use it for every client they want to. How did you create that balance with just four colors? But because that's exactly so again, this was so I got into permanent makeup before most people did. And that's how mm -hmm. I made my name. And my pigments got so popular, I suppose, all around the world because I made them so small. So, so, so only, only four colors and out of the, yeah, there you go. And out of the four colors, there's only really three of the three darker ones are the most popular ones, you know, yeah. um, and that's really enough to, to 
to, for everything for you don't need any other colors bar obviously of course melanin rich skin so if you're working right. on uh, yes or if you're working on salt and pepper you know older ladies that have kind of very white hair and you want a very taupe brown and um, then obviously you will need a different color which i'm working on now and um, but otherwise for a you know for the usual from 18 years of age to say you know to whatever it doesn't matter what age but as long as they don't have white hair you can just use those uh, three or four colors and the reason why i came out with this is because i used li pigments before and then obviously i used used that german brand before but they had millions of colors in them millions so many colors it was so complicated now i knew it well but it took me probably about a year or two to get to know the pigment line to say to get to know li pigments because there's so many pigment colors and you had to i don't know if you remember or how long are you in the business but you had to then uh, mix colors together to get yeah. a shape so I, I thought it was obviously i was teaching as well at that stage and and obviously when i was when i tried to explain it to my students that okay so you have to sh you know um uh, mix with this with this and then to get that shade and then you know um it was just way too complicated and people didn't understand and they were like why don't you just why don't why isn't there just a bottle that you just go straight out well why so that's it that's how that's why i came out with it and yeah and that's why i think it's so popular because it's not over complicated. It's three yeah. three or four colors, you know, and that's it. And it's pretty much enough. And that's so nice to take the guesswork out of it because there's nothing more intimidating than being a student. It's your first time. You're trying to absorb all this information while you're sitting here and a lot is coming at you. And now you're told, well, you have to put one part this, two parts that. It depends on the skin type. So when you're looking at the skin colors and you're looking at the hair, then you're going to put this many drops of this and this many. It sounds like guesswork and it almost sounds like how would I ever learn exactly. how to do it? So exactly. when I first started teaching, Monica Avani is what I would put in my kids. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank so you. <laughs> easy. It's so easy. And they're in the cute small box. They fit in my training kits. It's so nice. So you said now you're working on something new. Is that, did you let that slip or is that something that we're openly talking about? Well, this is the first time really I'm announcing it on your show. There you go. Um, but, well, it's not news news in a way that obviously uh, um, uh, I have been talking about this, that I will be coming out with new pigments. So we have been working on this for about two years already. Um, but obviously it takes a long time to launch a product if you want the product really well made. And <clears throat> and obviously you need to test them and you need to make sure that, you know, um, um, that it is the product that you actually want to create um so yeah so i think a lot of people know that i have that i will be coming out with new pigments but this is the first time that i'm actually announcing it that it will be coming out very very soon we're at the packaging stages now we're, this is the last bit of the testing um as well so yeah so it should be coming probably hopefully maybe summer that's so exciting oh my god summer so, so this is for uh ladies with graying hair salt and pepper hair so there's going to be lots of colors. The first colors are probably going to be lip colors. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be lip colors. And these are also going to be quite different from uh, from others. Um, so um, I want a set, uh, there's going to be a set with titanium free set. So okay. it's going to be three colors in it, uh, probably three colors in it that has no titanium at all. Okay. And then there is going to be another set where there is going to be titanium in them, but it's going to be very, very small amount of titanium. So that's yeah. what I want to focus on. And, um, I know that titanium isn't bad, but it's just not. I just think that there is a gap in the market where I think that we need to come out with um, with titanium free or very little titanium. Sure. Um, um, and then there's going to be eyeliner pigments and organic and an inorganic black as well nice hey yeah. is will still um is will still manufacturing his eyeliners yeah absolutely yeah i think he is yeah yeah yeah, absolutely i know he discontinued black moss but then oh. i didn't i didn't hear an update on that oh i didn't know this well, I don't know if it came to fruition. He kind of said it when he, so he came here and he was training here. He was teaching eyeliner and he was holding a bottle of black moss. And he was like, I mean, we're getting rid of this one. I'm not, whatever. And, and then he just never said anything. <laughs> oh, 
no way oh my god but yeah probably black moss is the color that i would use um because i use his 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 eyeliner pigments um uh, when i do eyeliner um so um so yeah that's probably the black moss is the is my least favorite out of the set you know yeah that's kind of what he was saying because of course he was talking to a room full of students and he was saying this is the one that students don't know what to do with and yeah. so he was saying, you know, he thought he would, he might discontinue that one, but I didn't hear an update on if he did or if he didn't, yeah, yeah, or if it was yeah, just yeah. that color or what. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I just want to, just because people have been asking me as well, um, it's, it's, it's just going to be two black colors, eyeliner colors, uh, just because again, I just want, um, so uh, I want to come out that so the similar idea to what we did before so it's a set where you have a couple of colors that you can include in your kits so same idea so there's going to be an eyeliner little set um probably the inorganic one for beginners and then the organic one for advanced uh, student um and then the lip colors obviously again a very simple just three colors again for um beginners um or is advanced students um and then yeah so there's going to be a salt and pepper color where for obviously the white haired ladies um and there's going to be a red hair a uh, color a brow color for red uh, redheads uh, we have one already the faux brown in the original set is uh, the one that i use but people have been asking for something that is is a bit warmer so that's what we're coming out because obviously all of my colors are quite cool in the original set so this is going to be a warm redhead um uh color and then there's gonna be a couple of darker uh brown colors that is for melanin rich skin because that's another thing that people have been asking me they yeah. they do like my pigment but obviously i understand that my pigments or the original set was made mainly for caucasians or uh fitzpatrick one two three four and maybe five but definitely not six so i do think that we need a couple of colors that is four five and six as well that's so exciting when you yes. first sat down with li and said yes i'll do a signature series with you let's start this road show did you feel like you were going to become the most popular artist series in Pink no Michigan? my god oh my god absolutely not sure no 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 how do you want to know that Nobody knows. Nobody's successful ever knows that you're going to be successful. You just right. do. Uh, you do your bet. And then, you know, you, and you see, you just try it, I suppose. And that's what's got, that's what happened. So I'm delighted. I'm I'm over the moon um, that it's so popular and people love it. And and yeah, so absolutely. And that's this is what I want to do now um, full time. Um, and I know I have talked to Tina uh, a couple of years ago, actually. Uh, it was a long time ago. Um, but um Tina Davis and she said that you know Monica I can't really um I can't really do clients or teach as well as develop products so I had to give those up to in order to um to 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 just you know focus on the products and that is now that I know that this is what I want to do I don't want to be doing clients anymore I don't want to be doing trainings anymore really um so well I mean not immediately but in the next few years I'm going to be cutting back on that and then I can just focus on that developing products and that is definitely what I want to do now that's amazing so you've kind of caught the bug like that's it I'm an entrepreneur I'm not an artist well you're an artist but you know in the entrepreneurial way how exciting yeah. when did you first realize that your pigments were an elevated success <laughs> more successful than others well, pretty much immediately, you know, it kind of, it didn't, I was very lucky because it, it didn't take much time. Immediately it took off. I think it was just the right time in the market that, as I said, it was just only a few colors and nobody else did that before. Obviously there is options now. There is other, other, other colors or other brands that have a smaller little kits and, you know, uh, but I suppose I was just the first and that's why it just people just kind of grabbed onto it. So immediately pretty much much and then and then I think then obviously the years later so it's almost five years on the on the market now <clears throat> and then obviously two years later people realize that well hang in a second this is actually it fades really beautifully because it just yeah. fades away 
with no, you know, nothing there. And then now, obviously, in this last year, we can see that inorganics are the thing now. Nobody wants organics really anymore. Everybody wants the inorganic pigments. Everybody wants them to fade because they realize that they just they just prefer that that you know, for most clients, not always, but for most clients, especially for hair strokes, obviously. Um. So yeah. So now it's it, that's why. So I I suppose I was just very lucky that that when I got in and then how the industry has changed over these five years and you know it was just in the right time and the right moment I suppose I love that so you are currently for anyone who's wondering why you're in your car you are currently at your daughter's riding lessons right (laughs) how many children do you have one oh just the one (laughs) so go ahead well, obviously, you've been in America. It's very hard to find an hour, isn't yeah. it? I know you have children, and if you have a family and you have a business, to find an hour where you can just sit and you have nothing else to do, isn't it? It's it's because obviously mornings are perfect for me when my daughter is in school, or you know, I I can do that anytime. But obviously, that would be middle of the middle night of for the you. Night. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this, this is so we have been trying to get this, um, this at this date for so long now. So, yeah, I thought maybe you guys. I was talking in my little girlfriend group chat. You know, like you guys, maybe Monica doesn't actually want to do the podcast. I do. No, I do. I do. It's just. I and then my so- Department of Health came, and I told her too. I was like, just so you know, I had an international business call this morning that you kept me from. She was like, oh, <laughs> sorry. Like she, ah! you know, she didn't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So sorry about the car business. Yeah, absolutely. No, yeah. I actually like it. I think that it showcases an entrepreneur as you are. You get business done when you can, all day long. We're never off the clock. So, how old is your daughter? She is nine now. Yeah. Does she kind of get um, pulled into business meetings and stuff? Like I always talk about this. Poor Tina's probably sick of it, but Tina brings Brooke with her to everything. And I have never met a daughter who was more like, okay, this is how you market this. This is what you're going to need. I love your branding. And she's like eight or nine years old. Okay, that's brilliant. No, no, no. My daughter isn't like that at all. No, she couldn't care less about feminine makeup or business or whatever. No, no, no. She's not into that. But obviously she understands that this is my job. This is what I do. So if, if, if I have to lock myself into a room you know for an hour she's she'll be fine she's absolutely fine but um but no she's not like that she's not like that but that's amazing for tina that's brilliant because obviously her daughter is gonna be like just like her so that's fantastic oh i met brooke before i met tina actually because i was at yeah i was at woolop in miami and i had seen tina outside actually getting out of a van like taking all of her luggage and stuff and my husband and i were walking to a little gas station down the street to get some snacks i really wanted some snacks and i said oh my god it's tina and he was you know like oh who is tina davies <laughs> but then later I had my booth all set up with all of my brow sister stuff which is my brand where I sell um, anesthetics and it's very pink it's very very pink it's like pink posters pink banners pink tablecloth pink 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 so Brooke came over and she's telling me I love your branding I love that I love it and uh, and she said can I have a sample and I said yeah sure no wait I don't think I should give a minor anesthetic and yeah, she said, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, you're probably right. That's probably for the best. Can I have a sample for my mom? And I said, that is so much worse. I am not giving Tina Davies <laughs> a sample she didn't ask for. <laughs> and then Tina came over and said, hi, what are you guys doing? You know, and she was so nice. And she came on the podcast, actually. Um, and we had a, a pre-meeting call because Tina is very like, by the book, I want to know exactly how this works. What are the logistics? And she gave me so much advice and so many tips on growing a brand and building a business. And I just am as helpful as she was and as nice as she is, I am so stuck on Brooke. I want my kids to be raised in an environment where they understand hard work and work ethic, which if your daughter understands this is your job and that's why you go and lock yourself away sometimes, it's the same thing. She is absolutely understanding it. So my oldest son is in kindergarten and he, they asked him, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he said a YouTuber. (laughs) (laughs) I think all kids do that now. You know, if you ask my daughter, she would be the same. Yeah, absolutely. They're all into that now. They all love YouTube and they all love recording themselves, doing whatever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, he has 19 subscribers. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, no, don't don't freak out. That it's gonna change. That's gonna change. That's gonna probably change every six months. <laughs> he will want to be something else. You oh, know, yeah. next. Oh yeah, he wanted to be a police officer forever, and now all of a sudden it's a YouTuber because he found out that mom has a YouTube. Ah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's cool that you still like me enough to want to be like me. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Well, you know, I would love my daughter to become a permanent makeup artist because I do think that permanent makeup is one of the best professions out there. Um. You know, I would love her to be calm, but I'm going to give her complete um co the complete option. You know, I don't want to yeah. push her. She, she knows what I do. If she has interest in it, she can, you know, she can always come to me. But if she doesn't, then that's fine as well. She can just do her own thing. And that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, Mary Hall Scott. Do you know her? Mary Scott Hall. Yes. Mary Hall Scott. Yes. She she just announced that she is closing her store because she's retiring and she sells Brow Sister products, but that's a very recent development. So we met at the UK PMU conference. So she came to me actually before she made the announcement and said, hey, I just wanted to prep you and let you know, even though we just kind of started this business partnership, I am retiring. She said, I didn't think it would be a big deal because I thought my daughter was going to take over the store. But she told her mom, I guess, at around Christmas time that she thought she wanted to like pursue something else. She didn't want to just take over the store and I think that's great. Allowing your kids to do whatever it is that they wanted to do, but still having the yeah. option to take over something that you built. That's amazing. But I can tell that she kind of felt like, you know, I'm letting you down because I'm closing my doors as soon as we inked a deal, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. But yeah. Well, you have it's to nice to see yeah. that, though. Yeah, exactly. Because it's your passion, it doesn't mean that it has to be your children's passions. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. So whatever. I mean, my daughter now, obviously, I mean, they're in the middle of a field now. She's horse riding yeah. now and she's obsessed with horses. Absolutely horse obsessed. And she wants to be a jockey. She wants to be a show jumper. You know what I mean? So at the moment, obviously, that's only for, as I said, <laughs> next year, it will be something else. But, um, but uh, you know, if that's what she wants to do, who am I to say, no, you can't. You have to be a permanent makeup artist. No, yeah. no, you can't that you know just because yeah. i'm i made a success of it doesn't mean that she would you have a huge empire to hand down though so if she turns it down just know i will change my last name to avani and <laughs> I, I will inherit the estate <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah exactly exactly absolutely i take it anytime <laughs> so silly well monica thank you so much for finding some time for me today where can people find monica avani and updates on the new product line um, okay, so probably Instagram is the best way. I'm not on Facebook really anymore. I don't think anybody is, uh, but Bar Messenger. Um, so I think Instagram is the best way, although I'm kind of pulling away from that as well. I'm going to have to hire people to do it now as well. I, I kind of held out as far as long as I could. Um, but, um, but yeah, pro probably Instagram, just follow me on Instagram, Monica Ivani dot my brows, my brows is obviously my shop, my, my, my shop. Um, and, um, and yeah. And, and, uh, if there's any announcements, I always do it there. So yeah, absolutely. Or, you know, a lot of people message me. We get a lot of, lot of messages, of course. And absolutely. Anybody has any questions ever just message me. It may take a day or two get to get back you know we'll see but um but i always get back usually thank you so much monica i appreciate it thank you so much victoria you've been this is this was lovely and very short and very sweet and it was an absolute delight so it was lovely meeting you um and i wish you all the best